Today on Park Life, John makes his debut as the ice skating webmaster. It's uh, the first time I've rehearsed my costume. So it's, uh, it's not going very well. Pen pals Jack and Michelle meet for the first time. I'm not really sure, but I think she likes me. And Motormouth Mel gives us all a lesson in how to work. What, so Pencil said you must charge people to pound the lead car by. Rest. Don't go from there. And play. <laughs> It's half term and the visitors are streaming into the park. It looks like it's going to be a busy day. 13 year old Jack is feeling nervous. He's waiting at the monorail station for the arrival of Pen Pal Michelle. It's their first ever meeting. Been Pen Pals for about five months and been writing to each other and phoning each other. Dear Michelle, Really looking forward to meeting you tomorrow. How are you? I'm dead excited. To Jack, I I'm looking forward to meeting you. It will be a really good day. I'll be wearing my white top with red stripes. And I know what you look like because I've seen it on the photo. I'll be wearing some blue trousers with a slit in the side. I'll meet you at the monorail at 10 o'clock in the morning. Don't worry about oblivion because I've done it loads of times. And so you'll be okay with me. All that pent-up excitement has exploded. It's a truly emotional Hiya. meeting. <laughs> you right? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yes. OK, so that's a bit of an exaggeration. We'll just have to wait and see how they get on. 16-year-old Mel is originally from Middleton in Manchester and is now living in nearby Leek. She started working at the park this season as a host, a role that involves a lot of interaction with the public. Her free time is spent at college learning leisure and tourism, or hanging out with her boyfriend Ben. But last night, they had a row. Me and Ben fell out last night again. Oh, not again. Oh, no. So, that voice is gone now. I got out of bed and stormed out and went downstairs, like the two in the morning. It's all right, little banana red dog. You get lost, eh? So. Where are you today? <laughs> It's morning briefing time when she finds out her duties for the day. Right guys, we're all sorting your teams. Right, back on the stage. Back on the stage, please, do for the briefing. I hope she's concentrating. One of my legs is longer than yours, I'm sure of it is what it's on Friday, try not to use my skin shoes. One of my legs is longer. Sick. That's what she was doing, she was a little bit of Mel! So what have you got to do today, Mel? At the minute I have to wait for the coach to come, get on, give the brief speech, let them know a bit of information about the park. But I usually know the guy that's on, I don't really know him. Oh yes I do! I love these guys on yellow jackets, they're so good. Morning! Don't get with me in front of the coaches now. Don't I? just sort of keep in, the, in between them there until they stop. And then you can get on your coach, do what you have to do. Okay now. That's not very good, is it? Hello, everybody! Welcome to Elton Towers. I'm your host, I'm Mel for the day. Well, I hope I'm Mel for the day anyway. <laughs> right, today was virtual queue. She's and going ride. to be Mel so for the day. Ride, what is she talking um, about? Just to let you know, we've got a brand new ice show just opened. It's called Webmaster. It's based on. Um, <laughs> it's based on computers. And the computer gets a virus and they have to kill the virus. These shows are at half one. Half free if they half were confused bad, before, kind of who afternoon, knows hopefully. what they're thinking now? So, yeah, that went well, didn't it? <laughs> but Mel's special talent is making people smile, and she's recently been learning juggling to keep everyone entertained. Everyone else can manage it. Even Jonathan Cook's got the magic touch. Oh, fell over. <laughs> embarrassing. But we're going to go on first. I think we're going to get we're going to go on a um, black hole first, and we can go on oblivion after. Pen pals Jack and Michelle have both been to the park before, and Michelle is pretty fearless with the rides. But there's one hurdle she's yet to face. Oblivion. It looks really scary. 
but it looks, it doesn't look as high as it looks on some of the pictures. Uh, are you going to go on it? I don't know yet. Maybe, maybe later. Maybe. Jack's going to have to use all really his abundant charm and charisma oh, no, to persuade her to, to on take on the vertical draw. Oh, no, we don't. I wanted to see um, the new ice show as well because that's um, just been perfect. It started on 2nd of June, but supposedly they've been having problems with it about the ice is melting. Jack's not wrong. They have been having some teething troubles at the ice show. Um, there's been a couple of times where we've had to cancel it because the ice hasn't been good enough. It's just been too wet. We've had problems with the ice plant, which meant that the top of the ice, top layers of the ice, have been melting. Um, and it's been like a swimming pool, basically. Melting ice and technical problems are the last thing that John wants. It's a big performance for him today. It's going to be an important day for me because I'm webmaster for the first time. My role is uh, chorus during the week. Um, the boy who plays the webmaster, Matt, he has a day off once a week, so um, I've been brought in to cover his day off. I think he's very nervous, um, but it'll be fine, he'll be fine. I mean, he's a really good skater, and it's not as if he hasn't had any rehearsals. It's just um, he hasn't had very many of them, which is sort of putting everyone on edge a little bit, but it'll be fine. There's not going to be any problems at all, I doubt very much. Probably the dodgiest bit will be the illusion, if uh, they get me up onto the illusion on time, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll weigh more than Matt does, and... Uh, Usually, I'm there to lift Matt up onto the illusion. Um, and sometimes it's a struggle, but we usually get him up. But uh, hopefully they'll be able to lift the extra weight. <laughs> I should have starved myself really last night, but I was too hungry. The running of the park requires a massive staff, and the entertainment team are just one small part of it. Another big department is games. Pay to play fun, which more often than not involves throwing or kicking balls. This morning, Steph is in charge of the basketball challenge. I'm working a game, so I'm on the basketball game. Pound for two balls, just get one ball in, get one of these lovely little snakes. If you get two in, you get one of the big ones up there. But not many people win the big ones. People like won't play unless they see you get a ball in. And what well, you can see. I can't do it. <laughs> Two balls. At the moment, Steph is excited about a job interview she's had. Um, I'm only working here part time, so I've just finished at uni. I went for a job yesterday as a researcher on the Trisha show. So, um, no, it's not my fault. I could do this all the time. I do enjoy it, but you know, the thinking that I'd be here all the time would be a bit mind numbingly bored. So, time to do balls. But for the time being, she'll have to be content with keeping her customers satisfied. Don't have to do your Just way. down the way from Steph is Ben difficult. at his full the guesser uh, challenge. Try to get it right. He's not employed by she'll the park, back. but gets a pitch for his game, Molly, an idea he her. brought from the Ready? States. All right, what do you want Pay Ben guess? two quid um, and he'll guess your age, right, weight or month of birth with a little bit of no, leeway no, by no, the no, side. No, if he gets it wrong, you get to help yourself to something from his cabinet of prizes. Well, I went to America um, and I, I worked with a travelling fair for a year and then I bumped into these guys who did it on an amusement park, worked with them, um, did it for about five years on and off, but the English public uh, don't, haven't seen the game so much, you know, so they're not as, they're not as quick at it. And it's a lot, lot of explaining. Come on up now, next player. Can you guess either your age or uh, what you weigh is in three pounds? Which one? Not weak. <laughs> Or the month your birthday's in. You don't have to do your weight, you just pick one. Which you think I won't guess. Alright, we'll do your birthday then. How old are you? Prepare to be amazed. Alright, watch this now. I'm gonna guess uh, the month he was born. Alright, I wrote it down, see? That's what I think it is. Alright, when's your birthday, sir? December. December. How'd you know I wrote December? It must be a psycho. Well, this is one lady, I wrote down her age. Um, I wrote 30 and she was 27, right? And, I, and just as a joke, I said, uh, how old are you? 40 what? And uh, she, just, she just went whack. <laughs> Right now, business is a bit slow, but they're both hoping things will pick up later in the day. At the entrance, Mel is handing out leaflets explaining the times of the various shows on the park. But at the moment, she's unhappy with her uniform. I mean, I'll truthful, the pants are horrible, don't even fit me. Too big there, too loose there. The tops are just minging, let's face that. So I can leave entertainment health and towers. 
Her uniform is one of the reasons she's received a couple of warnings from the management. I've had a verbal and a written. And I, sh I got done for it. Well, it was. My uniform's untidy. My attitude was wrong. I was late. I was not coming in on days. And it was just things like that. It was like a leaflet. Yeah. Things like that mounting up. Like, so when it, when it actually gave me my first clear, I had a verbal first. It was just like a, a massive long list he had. And he had. A book and everything. It's like a leaflet, guys. You had a book and everything. Poor Mel. Now her colleagues have spotted her information sash and have decided to quiz her on ticket prices. Well, for start off, you say information. I didn't know anything. I do. I do know information. Ask me a question about another answer. What's the current admission price for today? What is the price? That's telling you. You don't know, do you? So you don't know anything. I know a bit. It's like a table Come on, what is the current admission price? I know. I want to know? I don't know. It's 20. Thank you. Join the queue to the bottom left hand side for me, please. Thank you. Bottom left hand corner for the show. Excuse to buy your tickets. 22 pounds. Oh, no. 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 I just, I just love travel. I love, I don't, I can't stay one place. I love moving around, anything like that. And on that note, she's off to lunch. a bit of an expert on the rides at the park and wants to take Michelle on Oblivion, a real white knuckle experience. She's not so sure, so they're going round the rest of the attractions as a bit of a warm up. Michelle's sort of similar than she is on the phone. She's a bit shy, but I think she's great. I was wicked. She's fun, she goes on all the rides. She says cool things when she's on the rides. It screams a lot there. I was nervous earlier on, but I'm okay now. Because I've got to know her a bit more. I was a bit nervous when I was going to meet him, but uh, I knew what he looked like, so I was all right. I think she thinks I'm a bit chatty. I'm, I'm more outgoing than her and I'm not really sure but I think she likes me. 
Back at the ice show and the tension is mounting. Basically what's going on is John has never run this show before with full costume, with the lights, um, basically as the show, show should be run. He's never done it before. So what we're doing um, is running the show as it would be, um, but obviously we're not going to have an audience in just so that he gets used to his own costume. Yeah, we've got less time to set up and get the ice sorted. Um, and at least we don't get any lunch either. But uh, hey, that's show business for you, unfortunately. <laughs> This is a whole new show and a completely different experience to last year's production, which involved a lot of skating around with all of the costumes on. It's a different show. Uh, the Peter Rabbit show that we shared before, it was aimed at specifically young kids, and they enjoyed it. It was a good show, um, but obviously you were restricted doing stuff in character costumes and character heads and stuff. We have a one more time, one more time, please. This show, on the other hand, is more a more modern show. Uh, obviously a lot of time has been spent on stuff like costumes and a lot of thoughts went into it. It's different but it's good different. It's quite enjoyable. It's nice to do a show that's never been ran before so you can sort of put your stamp on it if you know what I mean. Rehearsal's over and John is far from happy. It's uh, the first time I've rehearsed my costume. Uh, I've never had any of this stuff on before, apart from the jacket, so it's uh, throwing me a bit of balance. It's, uh, it's not going very well. The show itself, I know no bother, but uh, this isn't even my costume, so I've still yet got to get my costume. I've not run the show with the lights or anything like that yet, so fingers crossed we'll see what happens. If I, if I do the show, I'll be doing it blind, so see, see what happens. All right, mate. It's Michelle's big moment. She's worked her way all around the park, and now she faces the big one. Just to get her in the mood for her vertical drop, the heavens have obligingly opened, and now she can be soaking wet as well as terrified. She's been on all the other coasters, and now we like warm-up coasters for her. So she's revved up now to go on it. this day we'll probably become more friends and we might go around to each other's house quite a bit and we'll probably meet up here more and go to other theme parks in the UK because we know each other a bit more now and we've met each other's parents and everything. Meanwhile Ben's on a bit of a roll and he's getting lots of uh, passing business. Be, When's your birthday, brother? August. August. Uh, you got me, May. All right, how old are you? 23. 23? Oh, you look great. You look like 20. Look at that. Yeah, you look good. Get whatever you want over there. When is it? February. Ah. All right, don't let me down. 12 stone 4. Anyways, good lord, look at that. That rascal. Go on. <laughs> 13 stone 5, you win, man. <laughs> When's your birthday, Nadine? March. March. Well, March on in and get you one. June, I will. Go on. Sadly, though, they're right taking him to the cleaners. I gotta get one right, haven't I? When's your birthday, baby? May. May, then you may get one, because I wrote August. That means you win. But that's tough, you know, nobody looks like their birthday. What that's uh, it's difficult. Come and help me. Get a present. Make it small and cheap, please. I'm on a losing streak. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I can either guess your age, I've got to be within two years, or what you weigh within three pounds. Now this chap's decided to set him a real challenge. You wait, yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. Ain't nothing easy, but this one's a, a particularly tough one. You like cheeseburgers? <laughs> oh, yeah. You do? All right, come over here. Let's see it. You weigh, uh... He's pretty solid. About, uh... 
23 stone and uh, 5 pounds, all right? All right. Watch out, scale. Here he comes. And he weighs... Off the scale. It, yeah, you got it. <laughs> oh, well. You win some, the, uh, you lose some. And uh, don't ever come back. I'm going to do that. The audience is filing into the big top. It's showtime, and John's turn to hit the ice in his debut as the webmaster. When I'm at the ice, it's not, it's not really nerves, it's more of uh, a little bit of excitement, your adrenaline's pumping, you know. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was nerves, I've never really been a nervous person. But uh, this morning, certainly, I was a bit, I don't know, uh, my head was everywhere, really. <laughs> It's one of those things, anything can happen when you're on the ice. It takes you to lose an edge or something, that's it. Now, the rest of the show could be a disaster. There's one awkward landing, but John recovers well. While John demonstrates his fancy footwork, over at Cheadle Leisure Centre, there's not exactly an abundance of Brazilian flair. The Theme Park Social Club has organised a staff football tournament. It's a big event. Each department have put in their own team, and Mel has patched up her differences with boyfriend Ben and come along to support him in playing for her colleagues, the hosts. I'm supporting Ben and his team, the youth. United! Youth United, go! We're going to win as well, aren't we? We're going to get right to the finals. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> So ben looks like he's going to be the weakest, to be honest. I know Ben plays for his school. He plays rugby for his union or something. And he does football and running, so... I know he's quite sporty. <laughs> Definitely quite sporty. Active. Do you know what I really wanted to play? I was like, I'll do it, I'll go and put me in, please, I'll just please. Say, Actually, no, if there's a team that I haven't got a player, I might go and, you know, try join it. Mel's wish soon comes true, as she's asked to join a team from the restaurant staff, who are one player down. Oh, no way, I'm playing football, guys! Jesus! Oh. I'm playing for this one, Ben Sims, I'm playing for him, and him. Who's let you down? Bryn. Bryn Cowan has let him down, my ex-boyfriend, and I'm standing in for them, I'm going playing football. Right, so let's get this straight. Mel is replacing her ex-boyfriend and playing for a rival department to her own. And guess who's up first? Yes, it's the hosts, featuring current boyfriend, Ben. With Mel's help, the team is soon leaking goals and become a lost cause. They keep saying, go stay inside, you're in the wrong side. I'm not where supposed to be. I'm just being stuck there. So Mel's teammates decide to keep her out of the way, keeping goal. Shut up, you p Are you alright? I think you did Oh, fat. look, it's shaking. That really is. You see it? It did. The main thing is, at least you didn't swear. The ice show is nearing its finale, and John is performing magnificently. Well, the show went really well. Uh, I was pleased with everything. I was really pleased that they got me up in the illusion. That was sort of, not for me, it's not a worrying part for me, but for everybody else, for the guys lifting me up there. It's uh, obviously, it's been a little bit tense. It actually, it went really surprisingly well. I didn't think it would go that well. Um, the costume was fine, so all the little niggly bits that have been happening in the last couple of hours uh, all paid off, lucky enough. It's more of a relief than anything else, because you know then you're like, yeah, it's finished, I can, I can relax now. But there's no time to rest on his laurels. John and the rest of the team will have to perform the show day in, day out for the rest of a very long season. <laughs> Next time on Park Life, hotel singer Charlie gets a visit from her boyfriend. Of course I'm pleased to see her. The children of King's School get off lessons for the day. And Wayne has a lighting problem to sort out. Is it a socket issue or is it 
an actual lamp issue. 